Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pick a card reading. In this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out what makes you attractive. But before we go ahead and get started, once again, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I do offer personal readings for those of you that are interested. They are $25. All that info you can find down below and also some other goodies, but let's get started. Four groups here, starting with Pile 1 with the Black Obsidian, two with Amethyst, three with the Strawberry Quartz, and four with the Clear Quartz. So let's go ahead and get started on one. Okay, hello Group 1, welcome to your reading. You guys chose the Black Obsidian, this is a good stone for um, protecting one's energy, protecting from psychic attacks, and keeping one's um, energy grounded and soothing. So, you guys have Covered Soul as well as the Princess of Wands in the reverse. I had to redo your guys' reading because I was just so confused, honestly. These cards are the same though, but we're going to reshuffle and... Uh, pick different ones from the other decks, but you guys could be a fire sign, a Sag, Aries, Leo, okay? You do not have to be, but with this card coming out in the reverse, I get an energy of you guys don't really like to hop into things foolishly. You guys maybe don't like to follow the crowd, maybe due to, you know, wanting to protect your energy. Or just very cautious of yourself um, with obsidian once again it's a protective stone so maybe people why they find you attractive what makes you attractive is that they feel like they need to protect you or you could be the protector here all right um, with covered soul this person is just sitting down she's just um, by herself kind of doing her own thing but with covered so soul this card talks about not coming not being in your authentic self okay covering your true self here is what i'm getting so there's an energy of hiding there's an energy of a bit of fear is what i'm getting here but i'm also getting that you guys um it's like an energy of you guys need saving okay i hope this is making sense for what makes you guys attractive Um, I'm also getting here that with the Princess of Wands in the reverse, you guys could have um, been people who have made foolish decisions, right? All of us have, but it's like you guys could be coming out of that now and just not wanting to hop into just anything at this time. The Thinking Woman. So I like this. Um, and then we have the second chakra in the reverse. So this is my Queen of Swords card. This is my Queen of Wands card in the reverse. So what I'm getting here is that you guys very much just do stick straight to the facts, okay? You guys try to do things with honesty here. You guys try to be as honest as possible with people. Try to be as real um, with people here, okay? And if something does not sit right with you, uh, group one, it's like you will cut it out, you will speak up. Um, second chakra, once again, my Queen of Wands card. So it's like, you guys, um, I'm getting an energy of just a bit of discouragement, but also one with a bit of integrity here, okay? So it's very opposite opposing energies. I feel like you guys just kind of try hard to make the best decisions here. You guys are very smart with the thinking woman, okay? You guys are brilliant. And you guys may be trying to um, make room for new things. You could be trying to expand your mind at this time. And people get that vibe, whether they are just looking at your social media or they have actually met you, okay? But I'm getting a very protective, very um, cautious energy with you guys, okay? With the thinking woman too, you guys could give great advice, okay? I feel like you guys really help people to um, make good decisions, okay? Integrity is what I want to say here, okay? You try to do things with integrity. And I feel like people may think that you um, 
you know, are just like scared or discouraged. And you could be a little bit at times, but it's, I get more of an energy of just trying to do the best thing for you, okay? Chaos and conflict in the reverse. And we have truth be told. So yeah, you guys are very honest. With chaos and conflict in the reverse, I feel like you guys are not afraid of conflict. You guys are not afraid to speak up on things, even if you know that it's going to rock people, that it's going to rock foundations that people just may not be wanting to hear. But it's the truth, okay? So you guys are not afraid to hop in the mix. You're not afraid to shake things up here. And it's all due to, you know, wanting to be truthful, wanting to follow your truth, wanting to do things right. So I am liking this very much, okay? Yeah, I'm getting authenticity as well here. I keep all of these cards upright. But um, with this card, Chaos and Conflict, there's like a zebra here right but it, it has giraffe print and you know there's chaos going on and it's like or maybe this is you know a zebra and it's zebra stripes i can't tell but it's like it's coming into its more authentic form if you guys ever seen this card okay the zebra is changing the zebra stripes are falling off and he actually has giraffe prints the thinking woman, the queen of swords to me is very authentic, truth be told, the truth. So it's like, you guys are very true to who you are, group one. And it's like, people um, respect that. So let's see, let's see. So we have death. Wow, 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 wow. So Scorpio energy, you guys could be Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini. Aries also, but with death here, I feel like you guys are not afraid of change. You guys are not afraid of letting go of things that, you know, whether you are releasing this or just circumstances around you get taken away from you. It's like you guys with the thinking woman really have um, an understanding of, of things, okay? Or at least you just try to be in that energy. But you're not afraid of, to end things. You're not afraid to let go. Also with death, people get the sense to group one that you have changed, whether this be your appearance or just the decisions that you make now, okay? Death is a very sexual energy as well. Death has to do with personal power, so people see you definitely in this energy here, okay? But yeah, not afraid of conflict, not afraid to speak up. Three of Cups. But at the same time, you can get along with people with the Three of Cups. You can make amends, you could be very cheerful, and I feel like you are very supportive as well, and that's what makes you attractive. You know, whether this be from people on social media, online, or your actual friends and family, just very supportive, like to cheer people on. Maybe, you know, you guys are the life of the party when you get invited to community events or to the bar, what have you here. But you guys are a grand old time, so there's like um, a balance of seriousness and also like having fun, okay? Six of Wands, wow, group one, okay? So people see that you're very popular. People see that you are striving for more at this time. People get a very um, dominant, commanding energy from you, okay? To where, like I said, people respect you. People respect your grind, your hustle, your integrity here. And some of you guys could have a large following on social media or just in your friend group on social media. You're popping. Um, you're cool people, okay, group one, with these six of wands here. This is Some of you guys are actually in the spotlight as well. Or just very popular people, but with this six of wands, I like it because, wow, the queen of swords again to the king of cups, wow. Emotional intelligence. 
but um, this person's climbing a rock. He's reaching. She's reaching the top, and she looks very determined here. So you guys are just very much focused on your success, um, where you're going at this time. People like you, Group One. Okay. Wow, the King of Cups. So you guys are very deep. And with the King of Cups too, this is someone who allows the subcon subconscious to break through. Um, so you guys really see the truth about things. You guys really don't try to act on impulse. It's like you guys really think about things, okay? Wow. Wow, group one. And people have witnessed... I feel like people have witnessed your actions speak louder than your words. Emotional intelligence is what I'm getting here. You guys also encourage people around you to get creative, to get um, your creative juices flowing. The lovers in the reverse. So uh, the lovers in the reverse could talk about, uh, you know, a connection falling off. It could talk about you know, making wrong decisions here. So maybe you have made some wrong decisions in the past, but it's like how you handle them, how you handle those difficult situations, how you make amends with it, okay? Wow, 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 wow. The Emperor and the Queen of Wands, holy shit. So, group one, you guys are people who come with respect and demand respect. Okay, I'm also getting an entrepreneurial spirit here, whether you're male or you're female. With the emperor, this is someone who cares about the community. This is someone who cares about making good connections. Um, even if you're in the wrong or somebody else is in the wrong, you try to do the right thing. Okay. Wow. Once again, very independent energy with the queen of wands here. I feel like you guys do really well with people as well. We got a lot of characters here, the Three of Cups. Um, with the Emperor as well, some of you guys could own your own home, own your own business, have your own things here. And you guys are very fashionable as well, okay? You guys are very popular, but you guys are very smart at the same time. You guys are leaders, group one. Wow. Five of Cups. So you guys could have a bit of um, melancholy, a bit of um, drama to you, okay? You guys could be a bit androgynous kind of with when you get in these episodes here. You guys could probably like to wear a lot of black, okay? Page of Cups reversed, you guys are not naive, okay? You guys are very smart, you guys know when to protect your energy and you know when to give. And you know how to lead, you know how to make the right decisions for everybody involved. Very inspiring, okay? Group one, I'm running out of time. I wish I could keep on reading this. This is great. Leave a little crystal ball emoji if this resonated, um, if you guys made it this far. And we're going to move on to group two now. Okay, hello group two. We made it. So if you guys chose this pile... You guys chose the amethyst. This is so pretty. Um, I got these crystals. I think they're a bit dyed, but they're pretty anyways. But amethyst is really good for those who are trying to strengthen and gain more psychic abilities, psychic powers. Um, but let's go ahead and see what makes you attractive. So, wow. We have the star as well as maintaining balance. Yes, the star to me is someone very spiritual. Um, some of you guys could actually have gifts, okay? A lot of you guys watching this are tarot readers, you're clairaudient, clairsentient, what have you here. Um, which is why you picked this stone, okay? So a lot of you guys, people have witnessed your powers. People have witnessed you um, calling out shit before it happens, right? So Aquarius energy here. I love the star... Um, because it talks about higher learning. I feel like you guys 
The way that you talk and the way that you go about things, your actions, really wakes people up, okay? It gets them thinking, it expands their mind, okay? So once again, whether you are showing them this directly or just doing your own thing or just how you talk and conversate with people and what you debate about, okay? You guys have great bodies with the star card and with maintaining balance, um, I'm getting your group too. People have probably witnessed you fall. People have witnessed you um, go through some things and probably have seen your shadow side. But it's like, what makes you attractive is that now you are um, healing yourself. You are healing others at this time. And you're becoming more authentic, okay? So it's like, you haven't completely banished the, you know, your dark side. Maybe you guys... Like, let's say, for example, you guys were doing drugs. You know, you cut all that out, but maybe you still smoke pot, right? So it's like, you are trying to balance things with maintaining balance, excuse me. And just, you're very authentic, and people get this energy from you. Some of you guys are actually in the spotlight here, okay? But you guys are huge inspirations to people okay you guys stick out like a sore thumb as well you guys are very zen air sign energy to me is very zen um but you guys have great bodies you guys could um be very tall all right but a lot of strength here as well strength to um put yourself out there okay but you inspire people you inspire those around you group two very awesome energy very spiritual but also very grounded energy with it let's pull this one so we have the sun the sun and the stars so leo aquarius energy Okay, so yeah, you guys are very authentic here. You guys definitely like to put yourselves out there. And you guys are just good vibes, group two. You guys radiate good, happy vibes, okay? And it's like, with the star card, you guys could work with people. But at the same time, I also get a sense that you like to be by yourself as well. And people respect that. People understand that. And that makes you attractive because you take care of yourself and you take care of others. With the stun card, you guys could be a bit funny. You guys could just, um, you know, be a good company, right, is what I'm getting here with the sun card. And she is in a pool of water, too. So you guys could be water signs as well or just the way that you move. Group one, whether you walk or just how you do things, how you talk, it's very fluid, it's very fluent. And why that's attractive is because it's seductive, okay? I feel like you guys are very seductive. You guys are not afraid to show your bodies, okay? You're not afraid to express yourselves. And that inspires people here. You guys are real. I feel like you guys have a very good control of your emotions as well. And why that's attractive is because you're not immature, okay? You are mature, you understand things, and you're able to look at things from different perspectives. And, you know, as much as you may want to point a finger at someone, there's always three fingers pointing back at you, right? Mending. Wow. Some of you guys are coming out of relationships here, but maybe you guys are just um, forgiving these people. Or maybe you were the one that was in the wrong group too, but it's just like how people understand that you are understanding your side too, okay? Is what I'm getting here, and that, that's what makes you attractive. Mending talks about, you know, mending broken relationships, um, getting along with people you know yeah so aquarius vibes here you guys could be virgos as well um virgos and aquariuses are very similar to me okay so let's pull some more cards for you 
Yeah, people think that you are innocent group too as well. Why that's attractive is because people could trust you. Um, yes. People think that you are very chill as well with maintaining balance. Two of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, there was a breakup here, whether this be in regards to ex-lovers, friends, co-workers, family members. Um, what makes you attractive is that maybe you are not completely engaging with them, but I do see you by yourself. Um, wow, what was I saying? Virgo, we have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, but... You know, maybe you guys could be by yourselves at this time, just trying to heal yourself. And with you doing that, people see that you are just trying to uh, do the best thing, okay? So I feel like for a lot of you, uh, keep doing what you're doing because you're setting a good example. And with the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, once again, this is a very alone energy this is a very self-care energy a very wise energy the hermit to me is someone who um is doing the work behind the scenes you know not really shoving it down people's throats or faces kind of just doing your own thing and with the hermit too virgos you can always find them doing something they love to do so i feel like you guys just work behind the scenes king of wands reversed here so I feel like you guys don't really shove information down people's throats. You don't really, um, yeah, I feel like you guys aren't really talkers. The Hierophant in the reverse, ooh, I don't really like to see this combination. But what I'm getting here is that maybe you guys, um, are into the occult, are into astrology, and things of that nature here. But I'm, I'm getting an energy that makes you attractive is that maybe you don't, like I said, shove it down people's throats because you understand that uh, people only hear what they want to hear. And it's like, what makes you attractive, group two? I feel like you guys don't give a fuck. <laughs> to be completely honest here, it's like, I feel like you guys are just very true to yourselves. You don't really try to impress people. With the Hierophant coming out in the reverse too, this indicates to me someone who is very unconventional. So you guys do things differently. A lot of you guys are coming out of situationships, partnerships, marriages. To a Swords reverse, you see things exactly for how they are. Okay, I feel like you guys don't really get stuck in situations. You guys do try to bring clarity here and with the star and the sun you guys are enlightened people okay the lovers in the reverse so group one had the same card come out the same pile here so yeah i'm getting group two there may have been some decisions that you made in the past that um were not the greatest right Excuse me. So we have Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Cancer as well with the Two of Cups. Yeah, very independent energy here. I feel like you guys don't really rely on anybody. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So you guys know when to step away. You guys know when to reject an offer or you guys know when to um hold off something okay because the ace of aces reversed can indicate delays could also indicate um once again rejection here but it's like what makes you attractive too is that maybe you don't want to strengthen bonds with some people maybe you're trying to completely reinvent yourself at this time with the star Three of Cups reversed. A lot of you guys are getting out of third party situations. You're getting out of the party scene. Um, a lot of you guys are releasing drugs and alcohol. Okay. 
And people just see you doing your thing, working your magic at this time. Ten of Swords. So people could definitely see, um, what they find attractive about you is that you're able to see now where, um, you have made mistakes. And with the Ten of Swords, I'm just getting here, you're very much, um, reinventing yourself. There's a new you emerging at this time. The devil in the reverse Capricorn energy. You are letting go of toxicity. You are letting go of um, just dark energy group too, okay? You let things die. And you don't keep on pressing it here. Queen of Cups in the reverse. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And we have the Five of Swords to the lovers in the reverse again so maybe um you know you guys could have a bit of a bad side like i was saying with maintaining balance maybe this was you with the five of swords to where um you know you tried to one up people people think that you are trying to be better than m than them excuse me maybe you have hurt people Therefore, offers weren't given to you or you weren't giving that to them. Okay, so, yeah, I'm getting, like, a, a dark energy, but also a light, enlightened energy here, okay? But people like that you are finding balance in between your shadow and your light. So, group two, I hope this resonated. Leave a little sun emoji if this did, if you made it this far. And we are going to move on to group three now. Okay, hello group three, we made it. So if you guys chose this pile, you guys chose these strawberry quartz. Now this stone is good for helping people um, find their purpose in their life. I like to associate this with rose quartz as well, sister, brother, cousin. But let's go ahead and see what makes you attractive. So we have the knight, the prince of pentacles, as well as true leaders. All right, group three, so you guys are my people that kind of everybody gets along with here, okay? I feel like you guys don't really try to mean any harm to people. I feel like you are very grounded, you're very reliable, you're very humble, you try to do the right thing, you guys don't foolishly hop into things here. You guys um, very much do think about where you are placing your energy, time, and efforts to and you guys are definitely a pile to where your actions do speak loud for you at this time, okay? Or you do try to follow up your words and your thoughts with action. You guys actually take action on things, okay? You guys could have a nice car, um, a nice bank account, and people see that. People see that you do like your material things here. Um, you guys could be a bit shy, a bit reserved is what I'm getting here, okay? But I feel like you guys do take nice care of yourselves okay and you guys could like to travel too with the prince of pentacles with true leaders i like this card because once again this does talk about you know putting your actions behind your words but also teaching other people too so it's like you know, with leaders, they really have to think twice about what they are doing. Is it for the betterment of them or for the betterment of the collective here? So it's like you guys really do um, stand by this. This card, heroism, power, determination, resourcefulness, courage in battle, generosity, and leadership are the natural qualities by which the I cannot pronounce that word works so you guys are all of this here and I feel like you guys really do great in chaos you guys really do great in battle here okay very generous and determined people okay so I like the knight of pentacles um, you guys are very patient you guys take your time with things take your time to get to know people and you know, maybe when it comes to like love interest as well, you like to get to know the person first. You want to be wine and dine. You want to actually do the dates. You want to travel with them, you know. Chivalry. Chivalry. I can never pronounce that word. 
So let's see what else wants to come out for you guys. Let's pull this one. Cornucopia in the reverse. Okay, so interesting. So with Cornucopia, this card talks about abundance. This card talks about having a lot here, okay? So what makes you attractive is that maybe you guys don't really indulge in this thing. Maybe you guys like to give back, okay? Maybe um, also when things seem very shiny, it's like you guys don't really hop into things that saying all that glitters is not gold yeah we have walking away so you guys will walk away from you know maybe things that you really do want to invest in maybe things that you really do want at this time whether this be you know a new vehicle or maybe a person it's like with the prince of pentacles the knight of pentacles you're very cautious okay you don't mind waiting a little bit longer. You don't mind um, taking your time with things. Not for you in the reverse. Ooh. So yeah, it's like you guys don't really obsess over things. I feel like you guys have a deep understanding about situations and I feel like you're not one to really kick and brag. I feel like you guys are really just ones, okay, if this isn't working, how else can I go about this? Um, and there's a deep sense of calmness and meditation that I get from this as well. Here we have time for a nap in the reverse. So yeah, I feel like you guys are very much just um, fine by yourselves. You're fine waiting. You're fine taking your time with things. And maybe there was something that you wanted, group three here, that maybe you just didn't get. Okay, with cornucopia, not for you. I'm also getting an energy of, once again, being very methodical with your approach. Very smart in regards to knowing what you want and how to get it. Okay. So let's see what else wants to come out for you guys. Judgment. So yeah, you guys are not afraid to let go, okay? You guys are not afraid to um, let go of things, and judgment also talks about stepping into your power, okay? A lot of you guys have personal power. True leader talks about power. So you guys stay real, and I feel like you guys set really good example examples on things. Um, you guys make really good judgment calls as well, even when things don't really turn out in your favor, okay? So people see you as humble. That's what's attractive about you. Eight of Swords Reverse. So what was I saying? Um, you guys don't obsess over things, okay? Once again, humble energy here. You guys are able to come out of victim mode on things. You don't play, um, you know, damsel in distress. It's like you guys actually... Um, Go after the things you want, whether that's by yourself or with another person here. Six of Cups. So what I'm getting here is that you guys could have a very youthful energy. You guys could be very fun, very playful. You guys like to do arts and crafts is what I'm getting here with these Six of Cups. This, you know, judgment in the Six of Cups also has an energy of coming back from the past. So maybe people like um, that you have came back to the past to them. Or that, you know, when you meet up with friends again, it's like, you know, it's like you guys never left each other. It's like you guys never changed. It's um, the same happy energy that you guys bring. Okay, group three. Eight of Wands. So you guys are very attractive. Okay. 
with the eight of wands here as well once again this is taking action this is mercury this is uh gemini sagittarius energy here so um, you guys are great manifestors. You guys are very smart, very brilliant. And I feel like you guys do things with, um, there's like a spiritual nature to it, okay, that people see, people understand. And with the Eight of Wands too, you guys could be very much people who, yes, you guys like passion. You guys are very fun. People could have fun with you. You guys are like a whirlwind romance here. But at the same time, with the Knight of Pentacles, you're very grounded, you take your time with things, but you're not boring, <laughs> okay, um, is what I'm getting here. And you guys are just not afraid to manifest the things that you want, which is great. The star card, ooh, so, um... Group three, you guys are inspiring, okay? And I feel like you guys definitely do stick out like sore thumbs um, to people. You guys could have great bodies. People see that you are healing at this time. You are coming into a more authentic version of yourself at this time. And you guys are just very true to you, okay? So I'm getting Aquarius Virgo energy here. Also, you guys... Um, are very enlightened very spiritual as well and that's what makes you attractive but i feel like the things that you do and the things that you say group three it wakes people up okay because a, the star card is all about you know collective consciousness higher consciousness i feel like you guys very much are involved with the community or you guys care about the community you guys very much do care about um people and with the Six of Cups to the star, it's like um, people have seen you heal your past, heal your past wounds at this time, okay? And that with the Knight of Pentacles now, it's like you are on your way. You are um, building at this time, okay? Which is great. But very inspiring with the star. Um, you guys definitely do stick out. You guys could be in the public eye as well with the star card. The tower in the reverse. So yes, you guys are rebuilding at this time. And I feel like you guys don't really um, try to, you know, crush things down on purpose. You know, we have it rooted down by the eight of swords reverse. So it's like you guys come out of victim mode. You guys don't stay stuck in situations that really rock you. With the knight of pentacles here, you guys rebuild. You guys don't stay stuck here. And I feel like you guys set a good example on um, to other people on how to do this, how to bounce back from difficult situations. Yeah, I'm gonna hear you guys definitely build on relationships. I feel like you guys can transform relationships. The devil reverse, so I love it. You guys are coming out of, um, what's attractive about you, group three, is that you are releasing a dark period of your life. You are releasing toxic things for you at this time. And now with the Eight of Wands, people see that things are free-flowing for you. People see that things are picking up for you at this time. And that you're manifesting new. Because with the Devil, we have chains, right? They're chained. And with the Eight of Wands, this talks about things free-flowing, things picking up. So people see that you are on the move now. You are not stuck anymore. You are rebuilding. You are healing connections. You are healing yourselves. And you may be teaching people how to do this too whether through your actions or actually speaking up the knight of swords reverse yeah i feel like you guys don't really get obsessive i feel like you guys don't shove information down people's throats as well you don't try to be right all the time um very humbling energy okay let's pull up this one the two of cups on oh, the ace of cups reverse so it's like you guys are very genuine people with the two of cups okay you meet people at eye level once again you do care about people and once again it's like when you talk to that old friend or just 
whoever, it's like you guys have never left each other. It's genuine. There's a real connection here. There's real love. People get um, realness from you at this time, okay? And what was I saying about like healing connections, the star to the two of cups, you guys heal connections. Okay, so group three, leave a little fire emoji if this resonated, if you guys made it this far. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next pick a card. Bye. Hey group four, we finally made it. So if you guys chose this pile, you guys chose the clear quartz here. This is beautiful. I love this tower. So let's go ahead and see what makes you attractive. So we have the source of all as well as the hermit. So I like this actually. You guys are my wise group, okay? So you guys could be Virgos and if not, this is the energy that makes you attractive here. So I feel like you guys are definitely a guiding finger to people, okay? I'm getting, um, if you guys know the band Rush, that cover on hemispheres, there is brains and there's like a naked person pointing the way somewhere. Well, besides all that, I'm getting here, you guys are very smart and I feel like you guys are very deep and wise. Um, the hermit is someone who is doing his work. This is someone who loves to do their hobbies. Um, they like to get creative. They like to indulge in that, okay? And I feel like the things that you guys do group for, you guys show people how to do it. I feel like you guys are not really talkers. It's like you're kind of doing your own thing and you're not really looking for approval. You're not looking to um, impress people, what have you here. So people get inspired by that here, okay? Um, the Hermit, this card has a lot of green. Green is the heart chakra, so you guys very much do move with your heart. You guys do things with your heart. You guys lead with your heart here, okay? Lead with intuition. And um, people can see you as a bit of a wizard, okay, group four? Um, some of you guys are clairaudient, clairsentient, or you guys are just very, very intuitive people is what I'm getting here, but I'm getting like Dumbledore type of energy to where, you know, with Virgos here, Virgos, you can always find them doing things that they love to do, okay? And a lot of them do capitalize on that too, so some of you guys are trying to turn your passions into something more, but I'm just getting more of a humble, grounded energy to where you do the things that you like to do, you like to take care of yourself, maybe you guys have self-care routines, um, and you guys just like to be by yourselves, very independent energies, kind of off doing your own thing, um, maybe a bit unconventional as well, okay? Uh, you guys are like my hippies, you guys are my wise hippies, is what I'm getting here with the source of all. You guys are a source to people, but the main energy that I'm getting here, group four, is that you don't really shove it down people's throats you don't talk about it it's kind of like you're just doing your own thing and people just see you doing that and they're inspired by that okay so i love it i love it i love it deep thinkers as well and people could see that from you indecision in the reverse so yeah it's like you guys um don't get stuck in situations okay you guys don't get stuck in disappointments or just in situations too long i feel like you guys are constantly on the move you guys are constantly doing something new and um you're very truthful and honest with yourself and with other people is what i want to say here all right And both of these people here are like in long gowns. They're like in cloaks and they're like in, in capes. I think it's called cloaks here. So yeah, I'm getting a very reserved energy, very much like to be alone. Maybe you guys do like to dress in long coats here. Wow, door to spirit. 
You guys are very spiritual people, okay? And I feel like you guys teach people this, but mainly with your actions, okay, group four? Very smart, very analytical, but with a spiritual nature, okay, group four? People get this vibe from you. wants to come out let's pull this one so we have why yeah there's a book here so i feel like you guys are very smart very intelligent once again and it's like with why a lot of you guys know the answers okay or people just see that you are just very smart okay um yeah it's very smart you guys could like to explore also, you guys like to travel, you guys are constantly learning things, and I, I guess just get very deep learners, very deep thinkers, you guys like to know the meaning behind things, you guys like to know the deep spiritual meaning behind things. And it's like when people talk to you, they learn something new. And we have peace in the reverse, so, you know, Virgos, they're ruled by Mercury, Gemini, very, um, rules the mind. So I feel like you guys could be people, too, who probably like to pick your fingers a little bit, maybe you have a bit of scraggly hair, and kind of just like that wiry, hyper-intelligent type of person for some of you, and that's what people find attractive. With why also, you guys could be ones to question everything. You're very conscious, cautious, excuse me, about who and what you give your energy to. Maybe you guys ask questions that a lot of people don't, whether this be a contract or something that you are being invited into at this time. But if there's something you don't understand, you don't mind picking up a book about it, or just doing your research on your phone or in a book here, okay? The sun in the reverse. So there is um, an energy of a bit of melancholy, a bit of depression. Just like to be by yourself. I feel like you guys don't really like to associate yourselves with people. Okay, you guys could probably like to wear a black, a bit of dark colors here. You guys could be a Leo, Leo Virgo. But I'm also getting like a bit of bad boy, bad girl energy here, okay? Eight of Swords reversed, yeah. You guys are not really um, anxious people. I feel like people do not do not get a weak energy from you, group four. If anything, I, I'm getting an energy of where people may be a bit intimidated by you. I'm getting the energy of Kylo Ren a little bit. Maybe you guys are not evil like that, but just kind of like a, a, a seductive kind of dark, deep energy, okay? The lovers in the reverse. Every pile got this card reversed. We have the Five of Wands reversed as well, so it's like, I feel like you guys don't like to, um, you guys don't like drama, you guys will remove yourselves from it, and maybe some of you guys have made some, um, not so good decisions in the past, or this could be present energy right now, to where maybe there was a fallout in a connection, um, with friends, coworkers. And now you're kind of just like uninterested about it. You're not stuck in your head about it. It's kind of just like you're on the move now. You're moving away from it. Coming into some harsh truths. I feel like you guys really do make people see the reality of things. Even if it's not what they want to hear. Group 4. 
and that's what makes you attractive. I mean, they may be a bit pissed off at you at first, but it's like they know it's the truth. So I feel like you guys are very deep like that. You guys shine the light in people's darkness, or you shine the light in people so they can see their darkness, okay? The Knight of Cups. So yeah, you guys definitely move with your hearts. You guys definitely move um, doing things that you love to do, okay? You guys are very romantic, very charming. I'm getting like Cancer Virgo vibes here. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, you guys don't really like to work with people. I feel like you guys like to be alone. You guys like to um, just do your hobbies alone. And I feel like you kind of just step away from people who think, you know, that they're higher than you. And if you get a sense too that people don't want to work with you, it's kind of like you'll just, you'll remove yourself. Okay, so let's see. a few more cards for you guys so we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse so yeah what i'm getting here is that maybe you guys um are not too flashy maybe you guys don't really like to um convince people of things i feel like you guys don't really like to show off the nine of cups but you're happy by yourselves okay so maybe it's like you guys are people that, you know, money doesn't really make you happy. Maybe you're not attracted to material things. Yeah, you may like to have it, but it's like if something doesn't sit right with you, um, you won't go towards it, okay? With the Nine of Cups, you guys are very comfortable with yourselves. You guys like being by yourselves, and that makes you happy, okay? You guys could probably, you know, have a nice wine collection. You guys are very sophisticated people is what I'm getting here. You guys could probably have achieved a lot in your lives. But once again, it's like not too showy. Six of Pentacles. So yeah, it's like you guys um, can be selfless. This is so Virgo. The Hermit with the Six of Pentacles very helpful people you guys like to give you know to the nine of pentacles as well it's like you guys are not really selfish it's like you guys will be able to give and i feel like that's what that's what makes you happy Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, you guys don't really try to one up people. Um, you guys don't look for conflict. And if people are doing you wrong, group four, I feel like you guys do not try to match their energy. And I feel like that's how you end up winning with the Nine of Cups, okay? So people just see you loving yourself at this time, okay? Not really needing anybody not too egotistical okay so group four leave a diamond if this resonated leave um that if you made it this far okay so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next pick a card